Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and today I'm unapologetically tearing down Barney the Dinosaur here. Now, this isn't just any particular Barney. This is the Barney the Dinosaur that was made in 1999 by Microsoft, who would interact with DVDs and computer games, which just frickin' blows me away. So, another thing that blows me away is there actually is not a part to make the mouth open and close. It would have been tops if they would have done that, but then again, robotics wasn't uh, what it is now, at least consumer level. That's the reason why I like to take these things down. I'm gonna tear this sucker down and see what makes it tick. I'm really curious to see how it could interact with uh, a TV or a DVD, because I'm pretty sure that this thing doesn't have a, a, a microphone. I played with it a little bit, and uh, I haven't noticed any time when you're supposed to speak to him. So he has different pickups. He has something in his hand. Oh my goodness, brings back bad memories. So yeah, definitely really surprising stuff for 99. Price is told to sing a song. Oh my goodness, thing would be sick. There was just something a little super far out there about Barney the Dinosaur when he came out. Uh, I was way too old for it and it freaking blew my mind. Now this is the thing that... This is the thing that I really... I find really cool. I want to know how that happens. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like anything can get through the eye. I, I can't figure it out. Maybe there's infrared or something. There's got to be a pickup up there of some sort. So, anyways. I'm going to be taking this guy down, and I'm going to be uh, doing it while he's still plugged in, because I really don't like Barney the Dinosaur. We're going to You want to sing a song while we do this, Barney? <laughs> We're going to have fun. <laughs> You said it, Barney. You said it. Oh, is this... Am I tiring you out, Barney? Are you tired? Oh, well, I wouldn't take it that far. So I definitely want to see how Barney works. I'm super curious about the engineering on the inside of him. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, the main command center. Oh, my goodness. Can I take it all out? Can I? I think I just got both of his arms. No, Colonel. Okay. Okay. That looks like most of them. Let's get your arms. My goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I wonder if I can... Okay, so that's not working. He's in shock. Let's have some fun. I'm up for that, Barney. And to play a game. Please, my little toe, to sing a song. Oh, wow, Bernie, you're freaking me out now, bud. Now, how do I make the peekaboo work? <laughs> now, I can't see you. Okay, there must be pickups in the eyes. I see you. <laughs> oh, wow. Where are you? Peekaboo. Oh, there you are. My goodness. All right, so in cutting them apart, it definitely seems like we get one, we get the uh, fur, we get uh, the membrane that holds everything in, and if you can get between the two of them, you might get like a dolly-like structure. I'm going to cut it out and see how well I can get that. I like to cut these things down as far as I can so you can kind of see the outer shell and the robotics at the same time. I do this stuff because I really get a kick at a consumer level robotics, and man, this thing was really big back in the day. All right, so here's the headshot, here's the front, and here's the robotics we got going on in the back. It looks like, I'm only seeing the cable going to one eye. There's got to be a very particular kind of sensor in there. Okay, so it definitely seems as if there's an internal membrane. Like they have the fur, and then the packing, and then uh, and then this, and uh, it's within this white membrane that uh, everything is. You can see the button in here. Ultimately, we got Barney here. It's time to go to sleep. I only uh, clipped him off once, unfortunately. I'm kind of kicking myself about that. 
because I was trying so hard. Anyways. Hello there. Let's play. Let's play this little piggy on my toe. Ready? This little piggy went to market. Where are you? Pikachu. I see you. <laughs> Where did you go? Pikachu. I see you. <laughs> it is the eyes. It's something it's in the short. eyes. Pikachu. Oh, there you are. He's watching me. Oh, it's just one eye. Please. Wow. Now it's dark. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Where did you go? Oh, it's just one eye. It should be <laughs> Where did you go? That's pretty cool. Huh. Oh, Alright, so I continue to mess around with Barney here into the morning. And in the eyeball, this is what we find. And I really had to pry to get this you're thing out. Aw, uh, thanks Barney, you're my special friend. Anyways, Cover it seems to be to play a light sensor. Where are you? <laughs> I think I th think I might have harmed it by uh, taking it out. Man, I love this robotic tech. Okay, I got all the screws out of this girl. It looks like we got the main circuit board on the top, and I'm seeing some uh, standard motors in the back. Going to see what it's going to take to crack this thing open and get a better look at it. Okay, so I finally managed to get the cage off, and this is what we see on the inside. We got a Microsoft chip. I like how the terminations are done modularly, so if I want to, I can just take these things off. It's going to hold this camera steady because there's people that are really interested in uh, these circuit boards. If somebody can figure out and knows what this is about, it looks like you can turn that, probably to change some settings or something. I'd really appreciate the knowledge. My goodness, he lives. It's alive. It's alive. Alive. All right, and to finish this video, to wrap it up, here's what we got on the back side. Man, look at all of those. They look like all capacitors. This board is really well put together. This unit is really well put together. As robotics, I am really pleased with what I see. I'm not pleased with the fact it's Barney the Dinosaur, but uh, I'm not a big fan of Barney the Dinosaur. I wasn't raised with this kind of thing that uh, smacked me in the face when I finally discovered it. I was like, what the heck is this? He was like a train wreck. He just couldn't look away. Anyways, it looks like all hands and feet have their own motor attached to them. And that all works right here. And the command's coming right off the circuit board. But one thing I can't figure out is how this thing knew how to interact with VHS. Sorry, I said DVDs earlier, but DVDs weren't around then. They came in really close after that. But how this thing knows how to interact with DVDs and uh, programs on computers. I, If I had any of these programs, if I had any of these computers, I would be trying it out. But I do not, sadly. Okay, folks, so that's it for me and Nev from Nav's Tech Bits. Thanks for joining me. It's always appreciated. Um, as always, folks, uh, take care of each other, eh? Catch you later.